Today we talked about rounding decimals to the whole number, which is the ones place, the tenths, and the hundredths place. Now I'm actually going to take the same number and I'm going to round it um, all three ways. Uh, so let's take 34 and let's say 125 thousands. Um, first, though, we're going to round to the whole place. The whole place is the ones, um, usually the ones place. So the way I like to do it, you underline the place value that you want to round. And then the one to the right of it tells you which way to go. Right. In this case, um, the one that we circled was the tenths place, which is a one. Now, I told them this thing, five or greater, see you later, four down to the ground. This one is less than, five, uh, less than four. So four down to the ground. So therefore, this one's place stays as a four. We don't change it to a three, okay? Everything to the left of the number stays the same. Everything to the right of the number changes to a zero. Now in this case, if they just write 34, that's fine. If they want to write 34 and put all the zeros behind it, that's fine too. Taking that same number, let's go to the tenths place. Um, the tenths place is your one, that one digit. So we underline the tenths place. And this time we circle the hundredths place because that's the one to the right of it. Two is still less than four. Uh, so remember four down to the ground. So that f one in the tenths place stays as a one. Everything to the right, I'm sorry, everything to the left stays the same. Everything to the right turns into a zero. Hundredths place, same number once again. Um, the hundredths place is the two. The two is the hundredths place. Remember, that's two decimal points over, two decimal spaces over. In this case, our five uh, is there in that thousands place. That five tells us we need to round up. So that two now gets kicked to the side and turns into a three. Everything to the left of it still stays the same. Everything to the right of it changes to a zero. One last one to uh, talk about. Let's say if we have something like this. And they wanted us to round to, let's say, the tenths place, which is right here. The one before tells us which way to go. That nine is greater, so it says five or greater, see you later. So this is supposed to change to the next number. Well, the next number actually is a 10. We can't put a 10 there, so we put our zero and we carry that one over. That becomes a 10 also. We have to carry it over one more time. And that becomes two. And don't forget your decimal. All right, hope that helps.